Moed Cotton, General Introduction. The holy days of the year are of two types, Shabbos and Yom Kippur, during which all labor, malacha, is forbidden. See Shabbos chapter 7, Mishnah 2, for a listing of the malachos, and Yom Tov, Pesach, Shavuos, Rosh Hashanah, and Sukkos, during which many activities needed for the preparation of food are permitted, even though they involve malacha. See General Introduction to Tractate Beitza. <clears throat> Excuse me. However, the festivals of Pesach and Sukkos are themselves divided into two distinct periods of holiness. The first and last day of each festival, which have the sanctity of Yom Tov, in which Malach is prohibited except for what is used for food preparation, and the days in between, five in the case of Pesach, six for Sukkot, during which most Malachos are permitted. These intermediate days are known as Chol HaMoed, literally the mundane period of the festival, and it is these days and their laws that form the subject of tractate Moed Katan, literally minor festival. Chol HaMoed. Contrary to popular impression, Chol HaMoed is a holy day, though not as holy as the first and last days of Yom Tov, and many activities are prohibited in it. Some are prohibited for reasons of Malacha, some because they involve unnecessary or excessive exertion, and some because permitting them would cause Chol HaMoed to lose its sense of holiness and make it seem an ordinary workday. The laws of Cholom are rooted in the principle that Malacha should be forbidden during Cholom as well, and are permitted only for specific reasons. Obviously, whatever is permitted during the first and last Yom Tov days is permitted on Cholom as well. Beyond that, Malacha is permitted in five basic situations. 1. Food for human consumption. A person may prepare food on Cholom to be eaten on the festival, Gemara 12b. Even though even those malachas that are prohibited on Yom Tov for food preparation, see introduction to tractate beitza, are permitted on Cholom Moed. This category includes a. Direct preparation of the item to be eaten, such as harvesting, grinding, and trapping. b. Preliminary acts that enable the actual food preparation, such as building an oven. Mishnah chapter 1, Mishnah 9. 2. Festival needs. Activities that fill a person's needs or increase his pleasure during the festival are generally permitted. If the work does not require skill, it may be done in the normal manner. However, if the work does require a degree of skill, e.g. carpentry, sewing, it may not be done in a professional style, but only in the manner of an amateur. Work is considered to be unprofessional if it was done either by an unskilled person or by a craftsman who makes a change that transforms his work into that of an amateur. See Mishnah chapter 1, Mishnah 8. 3. Something that will be lost. It is permitted to do work that is that is needed to prevent a monetary loss, such as damage to property. See Mishnah chapter 1, Mishnah 1. 4. Communal needs. Malachas that benefit the public are permitted on Holomed, whether or not they are needed for the festival. If, however, the work is not needed until after the festival, it must be done in an unskilled manner. See Mishnah chapter 1, Mishnah 2, note 9. 5. A laborer who does not have what to eat. A person who lacks food may work on Cholomoed in order to earn money to buy what he needs. Mishnah chapter 3, Mishnah 4. He is not required to sell his personal possessions instead. Mishnah Brewer 542, colon 8. Factors that prohibit work on Cholomoed. Even work that was done for any of the purposes outlined above might be forbidden in one of the following circumstances. 1. Great effort. Work involving great effort is forbidden on Cholomoed. Mishnah 1. Mishnah chapter 1, Mishnah 1. 2. Public setting. If a person doing permitted work might be suspected by onlookers of breaking the laws of Cholomoed, it is preferable and sometimes obligatory to do the work in a private setting. Mishnah chapter 2, Mishnah 5. 3. Scheduling one's work for Cholomoed. If a person is able to do his work before or after the festival, but decides to do it on Cholomoed instead, he is forbidden to do it on Cholomoed. Mishnah chapter 1, Mishnah 10. 4. Working for hire. Even permitted work may not be done for pay, except in the case of the laborer who needs money for food. Gemara 12a, see Schottenstein edition of Moed Cotton, note 11 there. Laws of Mourning. The second and third chapter of this tractate deal at length with the laws of mourning, especially how these are observed on Yom Tov and during Cholom An introduction to these laws appear at the beginning of Mishnah 5 of that chapter.